Hello friends, it is Alina Alive and I'm a holistic nutritionist that helps people find balance through lifestyle tips, wellness habits, and nutrition advice. And in this video, I tried three natural deodorants so you don't have to and this happened. Someone who cares about living a holistically healthy lifestyle when it comes to the products that I use in my home to the products that I try on my hair and even my diet hello I'm a holistic nutritionist I have gone through quite a few natural deodorants in my day and the conversation around natural deodorants has grown more and more over the years and for really important reasons like did you know that a lot of conventional deodorants contain everywhere from aluminum to parabens to propylene glycol and a lot more and many of these ingredients are endocrine disruptors or they're essentially chemicals that disrupt our reproductive and developmental hormones also, according to Dr. Philip Harvey, editor-in-chief of the Journal of Applied Toxicology, research shows that some compounds used in deodorant are absorbed and stored in fat cells, which, along with many hormone receptors, are prevalent in the underarm area. So what do we do, right? What's the solution to this issue? Well, I know for me and my friends, a big conversation, or at least 90% of the conversation, has been how natural deodorants just don't do the job right sometimes. And I wanted to explore why exactly and see if some of the more higher recommended brands actually did the trick. So in this video, I dive into three different natural deodorants, see how they work on me, and I give you my review, my reflection, and what I learned. So let's jump in. All right, so the first deodorant that I started with on day one was Smarty Pits, um, aluminum-free deodorant. And so basically we went to a concert and this was in the middle of July, a few weeks back, and we went to see Paul McCartney. Now Chris is obsessed with Paul McCartney, maybe not obsessed, but he loves the Beatles and loves all aspects of it. And it was a hot summer night. We went and basically walked a large portion of the way up the hill into Dodger Stadium where it was held. And we definitely, I definitely put this deodorant to work. Hey guys, we're almost at Dodger Stadium. Chris is here too. There's a bunch of uh, traffic right now, which is why we're walking from Chinatown. And it's hot. So I feel like I chose a good day to do this experiment. I'm already sweating. And um, I mean, I've kind of been sweating since we left the apartment. But yeah, should be a fun time. Overall, the night went really well. Um, one of the biggest things that I noticed was that I was sweating a lot. And there was an odor along with it, but I did notice a lot more moisture than the average deodorant that I usually tried. And I wasn't too, like, troubled by it, but it was something that I noticed. By the end of the night, I barely smelled any odor, even though it was a long and very fun night. So I will definitely, out of five, I'd have to give Smarty Pits four out of five, for sure. All right, so I was looking this up online because I kind of already understood this, but I didn't want to, I basically wanted to articulate it well. And that is that antiperspirants block sweat glands and they actually prevent those sweat glands from releasing sweat. So when you stop using them, your body also needs to adjust to that feeling of moisture because that's something that we've gotten accustomed to. But the act of literally clogging our pores is very detrimental to our body's natural detoxification pathways. So one of them is through our sweat ducts. And so that's why our body needs to adjust. That's why oftentimes we end up smelling even worse at first because there's literally buildup from our armpits, our sweat glands being blocked for so long. And so basically understanding that it's okay and it's normal for our armpits to sweat and it's a part of the process of our body actually lowering lowering our internal body temperature and it's a part of just the physiology of the human body that helps a lot but a lot of the more common ingredients like arrowroot and cornstarch that are in these natural brands help with that um, kind of like how powder helps with absorbing moisture in a lot of other places it's very similar to that so I hope that helps Next up 
was Crystal, and the brand of this, the, the name of this brand is literally called Crystal. And I wanted to try this one out because I know for a long time, even before it was a thing to get natural deodorants, Crystal deodorants were very popular. Um, and so I wanted to try something that's been around for a while and that's considered tried and true in the more natural product community. And yeah, I've tried this one before. Wasn't very long lasting, but I'm interested to see how it does today because it's a hot day and I'm doing a lot of errands. This is Sunday chores, all that good stuff. So even though it isn't a concert like last time, it's definitely definitely gonna be sweating throughout the day. So we'll see what happens. Now, something that I did notice about this one is that even though it says no aluminum and absorbs wetness, in comparison to a lot of the other brands that I ended up getting that had very simple ingredients like arrowroot, um, different types of flour in them, um, different types of herbs and things like that to kill the bacteria and odor, this one's ingredient list was pretty long. And it was a little bit, you know, it made me question it just a little bit only because you know, trying to go more natural and reduce the amount of chemicals that I'm exposed to. So that, that was one thing. It is the end of the day. We spent probably four hours out getting groceries and just supplies for the house that we hadn't picked up. Here's some over here. And an update is that I feel like this one held out. This one held out really well. I just did a check. I'm kind of being discreet on how I'm wording things because I don't think Chris completely knows what I'm talking about and I kind of want to keep it that way. Anyway, <laughs> so I would say like out of 10 for an average day in the summer um, without like extended sweating and extended just craziness like yesterday, I'd give it an eight out of 10 for like an average day. Last but not least, I ended up trying this really cool brand that one of my friends told me about it and it's called Pit Liquor. And basically the whole thing about it is that it's a very simple, very simple ingredients and the ingredients are apparently edible and they use alcohol. And with this one, there's whiskey in it, whiskey lavender, to kill the bacteria and to help with odor. We're definitely putting things to the test today, guys. It's hot. <laughs> We're over the water, so there's a nice breeze, but it's hot. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, though. All right. I feel so tired right now. Not bad. Not bad bad at all so the pit liquor has been doing well i feel so awkward recording this because chris is off camera and he's like what i specifically always feel skeptical with liquid deodorants i don't know what it is but like the pasty type that you rub on rather than roll on with liquid it just seems like more consistently has been the type that works but this it works so when it comes to natural deodorants, I have to rate this one a five out of five. I literally didn't smell any odor at the end of the day and it wasn't masked by higher levels of fragrances. All right guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, overall, the biggest lesson that I learned was the patience that comes when you're trying to find balance and when you're looking for new products. I also learned that not all deodorants are made equally, not just when it comes to the actual um, ingredients that are in them, but also how they work with your body. I have friends who have tried some of these deodorants and they did not work. So don't take my word for it. Try it out yourself, check out their ingredients and make sure that this is something that works for you. Something else that I wanted to note is that, especially when you're transitioning away from natural deodorants, a lot of times you will sweat a lot more and you will smell a lot more BO or body odor because with more conventional deodorants, you end up clogging your actual pores and so it prevents sweat from coming out like I mentioned before and but another negative aspect of that is that you're essentially clogging up a lot of these toxins and byproducts that your body is trying to eliminate through your sweat glands 
And so that odor will be there and that sweat will be there and you need to be patient to allow your body to balance itself out and not necessarily blame it on the natural deodorant that you immediately switch to. Last but not least, if you want me to do a video where I talk about how to deodorize yourself internally through the things that we eat in our lifestyle habits, because like I mentioned before, that can play a big role, especially when we're detoxifying after using conventional um, deodorants, leave a comment down below. And if you want to support this channel, the biggest thing you can do besides subscribing, if you're already a subscriber, is hit the notification bell and share this video with a friend who might be on the fence about trying new deodorants. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to be gentle with yourself because life is about the journey and not the destination. All right, I'll see y'all next time.